Hey guys, welcome to Horror and Me. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell. And on today's video, we're going to be doing a haul video. Uh, just some things that I picked up uh, here this week. Uh, so nice additions to the collection. So I'm excited, excited to show you guys uh, the stuff I grabbed. Uh, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right down to it. Uh, the first thing that I picked up this week, and it's not really horror, but just the look of this figure, I had to get it. It's an Unleashed, uh, yeah, Unleashed Star Wars figure of Chewbacca. And this came out uh, in 2003. It was a Hasbro release, but this is the Unleashed Star Wars uh, Chewbacca. Look how crazy that looks. When I saw this kind of just hanging on the peg in one of my um, stores that I like to hunt, um, just the look of that is awesome. I'm going to keep this in package just because it's so it's older, um, but really, really nice figure. Let me just uh, scan out on that a little bit. Really, really cool. Looks really nice up on the uh, pegboard. Uh, so really awesome grab this to, uh, this week so I'll set him aside um, next I'm um, actually at the same spot and I've actually been looking for some of these um, I don't have any of them this is my first one in the series but this is a McFarlane toy uh, and it's Conan the Indomitable I was lucky enough to find this in package so really really nice um, there's another figure that this is supposed to like interact with uh, but this is from series one um, I really like the Conan films. Uh, I'm just really into like that medieval barbarian type of uh, time period in history. Uh, so I'll show you this in the back here. Really, really cool. Uh, this was a 2004 release. So very, very nice. I have to try to hunt down the other one that this one goes with. So I'll set that aside. Uh, what do we have next? Okay, so next I also picked up a retro Puppet Master figure. This is the Retro Tunneler from Full Moon. Get in on that. So he's wearing like a uh, like cloth clothes. He's kind of got like a wood face. Let me show you guys the card here, the Retro Tunneler. I've slowly been getting more and more of these um, uh, Full Moon uh, figures. So I'm starting to get quite a bit. Um, I really do like these retro ones though. This is the first one I've seen in a long time. I remember them a lot more a few years ago being being out. Uh, this was, what year was this? 1999 is when this one came out. So really, really cool figure. I like this, nice addition. So we'll set him aside. Um, okay, the next thing, this is something I grabbed from eBay, and I'm actually pretty disappointed because uh, the box came to me all janked up. Uh, the picture that the guy had was, um, it was like a mint looking box. So I was really upset to get it the way I got it, so I'm probably going to unbox this. As you guys can see, I mean, the lid is all messed up, and the way it was displayed on eBay was like a perfect box. But this is a uh, 1998 uh, 18-inch Tales from the Crypt doll. Um, I'm definitely going to set him up. I just got to figure out a good place for him. Um, I'll take him out at some point and do some pictures for my Instagram or whatever, but it's a really, really cool. It talks I, I, without having it, um, his hand accessible. I can't push it uh, to see if it works yet, but it's really, really cool. It has a really good look to it. Um, and this says that it was the RIP RIP Horror Collector Series. Uh, it's numbered. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool. Just show you guys the back here. It's a nice little 18 inch, uh, Crypt Keeper doll. It's really nice. I didn't have any, uh, Crypt Keeper dolls, so I'm excited to get this. So we'll set that aside. Um, next are two really, really cool things. Uh, the first thing, um, I saw it when it's, when it was released online and I was like, I really want to get that, but um, I wasn't sure, but I'm glad I decided to get it. So this is cool. This is one of my favorite things I picked up recently. You guys know I'm obsessed with Alien. Uh, so when I saw this, I had to get it, but it is the full size face hugger, uh, NECA Real Toys. So this thing is about four feet long. Uh, just really, really cool. Let me get in on that. I'm sure if you guys have seen it, 
uh, before. This is the more of a rubberized version of it. Um, in the uh, FYEs, we have FYEs near me. Um, they have a currently have a display up with like an egg and a face hugger coming out of it. That's made out of more of a hard plastic. Uh, the NECA Real Toys version of it is uh, you can pose it and kind of bend it to however you want it. Now, kind of how I have this displayed, it was kind of funny because once I got it, I was like, oh man, I have to get that. But then when I got it home, I was like, oh man, where am I going to put this? So what I've been doing is I have my TV where I watch horror movies in my horror room uh, suspended in the air. And what I do is I kind of have it hanging off the TV so it looks like it's jumping out at me. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, this thing is awesome. If you love Alien and Aliens and NECA, uh, just to display it in your room, you have to get this. It's so cool. Uh, again, it's gigantic. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. But if you can kind of mount it on a wall or do something kind of cool with it like that, uh, it should be a pretty cool standout piece in your room. So I'm excited to grab this. So we pick that up. I'll set that aside. Uh, next, um, it wasn't too long ago, I think it was like a month or two ago, there was a pre-order out for the new Creepshow Father's Day figure um, through Amok Time. Um, so I finally got that, that just came in today. It is the Creepshow Father's Day figure um, with the head cake. Really, really cool. This is a three, in, is it a three and a half inch? Okay, it's 3.8 inch scale figure. Uh, this is brand new. Uh, it's, I think it's the only Creepshow figure of this, of this particular film or short film from Creepshow. And it's funny because I just recently watched this. Um, so really, really cool. Let me get in close on that. You guys can take a first look at it. So this will stay in package and just kind of hang up on one of the pegs. But really, really cool. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks. So it was just released. So if you go to amictime.com, you should be able to pick one of these up. Some Monstars. Really, really cool. I love this. That's one of my favorite short films out of out of the uh, Creepshow films. Um, really, really awesome. I love that. Nice. So set that aside. Um, next, we have a couple more figures. Um, let's just show you guys the NECA that I just picked up. Uh, so I just p finally picked up the NECA Predator Concrete Jungle figure. Uh, last week, we grabbed the uh, Predator 2 City Hunter. Uh, this week I grabbed the Predator Concrete Jungle Predator. Just do a spin and show you guys the box. Really, really cool. I'll show you guys the Predator inside. He's pretty gnarly looking. The other, the alternate head that it has, um, has the open mouth. It's really, really cool. I'm not going to unbox this, but if I did, I would definitely stick the other head on. Um, but just really, really cool. I was happy to find this. My comic store had this. Um, I was going to film toy hunting videos when I picked up some of this stuff, guys, but again, you guys know I was sick. Uh, I just really didn't feel like it. Uh, but obviously, knowing me, I have to continue my hunts for the things that I need. And this was one of them. So really cool. We grabbed that. Uh, next, we have three more things. Um, just want to grab this here. Uh, the next thing we have is a Vincent Price 12-inch uh, figure uh, from Real Toys. Uh, this came out in... 2002 and it's the Raven figure from the movie. This was a um, 1963 film uh, Vincent Price was in this Peter Lore, Boris Karloff uh, Even Jack Nicholson was in it. Let me get that more in frame for you guys uh, It's just based on the movie. This was in uh, a film that was made based on an Edgar Allan Poe poem uh, Really cool movie. It's basically about a, ma a magician that um gets turned into a raven and then he has to go find a sorcerer to help him but it's a really really good movie from the 60s if you guys are into that universal monsters or old school horror films uh this was a really awesome one uh this kind of sits with my other amic time monsters types of figures it's really cool I'll show you guys the back the raven vincent price it's really cool i got that um next we have two we have some frankenstein stuff so the first one is this is one i've wanted it's a newer figure this is a 112 collectible uh from universal monsters and also mezco toys and this is the px previews exclusive frankenstein figure uh this is in the likeness of boris karloff um so i'll just show you guys the box now if you guys are trying to find this um it is sold out everywhere i think the only place you can find it now is on ebay um, and this one is especially hard to find. This is the green variant. 
Uh, what I did was, when this came out, I knew this was going to be a hot toy. Um, I pre-ordered it through my comic store. So it has like a slip cover that comes off. And then it's kind of like a magnet box on the side here. I'll just show you guys the figure. I even have the plastic still in there. It's still kind of covered up. But that is the green variant Frankenstein. He's going to live in this box. Uh, it's supposed to be the most likeness to Boris Karloff that they've done in a figure. Um, and I know it's hard to see because of the plastic and the shine there. Um, but he has a really cool stand behind him and a base and different alternate hands and heads and stuff like that. It's a really, really cool figure. Hard to find. I was super happy to get this and add this to the collection. Um, so awesome. I'll try to see if I can put up, find the actual uh, image of this and put it next to this next to this box right now so you guys can see it uh, since you can't really see it so well. Um, and then next and the final item is I got another figure. This is from, uh, who did this? This is a Universal Monsters release. Um, this came out in 2001 and this is a sideshow. And what this is, is it's the Ghost of Frankenstein figure. This is another 12 inch. Just show you guys the box and a little bit about uh, the Ghost of Frankenstein. It came out in 1942. Uh, it starred Lon Chaney Jr. as a monster. Uh, Bela Gozi was also in this film. He was uh, Igor in the movie. So just do a spin in the box. And this is uh, the Lon Chaney, again, Frankenstein. Obviously my favorite Frankenstein is Boris Karloff. Uh, but Lon Chaney was good too. Let me open this up. There we go. So you can see it. So he's just kind of hanging out in there. There's a little bit about the movie and uh, who was in it. There's a nice little base and a couple books within there. So really, really cool. It's a nice addition to my Frankenstein collection. Uh, the, the two figures that I just showed. So really, really cool. Just show you guys again in the back. So nice. So that was my um, haul for this week. Uh, so I'm glad you guys could check it out with me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to keep in contact with me and see more of my content, please follow uh, my other social media sites, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook, uh, where I post a lot of other things that you won't see here on YouTube. Um, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.